We did it, guys. I've officially lost my mind. Hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And I think of cats the same way Oprah thinks about bread. I love cats. Nail polish, tea, ban, and cats. That's all I need in life. So I was doing some online shopping for the Christmas season, and I came across this book. Sally, where are you going? We just started and he's already gone. Ugh, what a child. <laughs> Crafting with cat hair. Cute handicrafts to make with your cat. Obviously, I had to buy it immediately. They have so much good stuff in here. I mean like aside from the pictures of cats. Let me show you. They have finger puppets, how to brush your cat, book covers, cat portraits, tote bags. So many amazing things that I wish I had time to do every single one of these, like cat badges, look at that. Now I know what you're thinking and I agree. This is completely normal behavior. Today we're gonna sit back, relax and craft with our cats. Menchie insisted on staying in the Halloween pumpkin even though I said, come on girl, it's December, you gotta switch beds, but Menchie gets what Menchie wants, so. Whatever season you wanna sit in, okay? So the first step of all these cat crafting projects is pretty much the same. You have to collect a lot of cat hair. I did this earlier today. plenty of my own children's fur. I think I'm gonna need some more and I know just the place. So the cats were really cute, but you can't get a lot of fur from little kittens and the adult cats were mostly uninterested in me. This is all I got, but you know, at least it's something to work with. I also have some cat hair from Big Kitty and Zelda, which are Robin Grin from Threadbanger's cats. <laughs> Don't ask me why I did that. I'm just harvesting your cat's hair. I'm gonna take it to Canada. You think they'll question me? Hi guys, love you. So we've got our cat fur, we've got our cat handicraft book, we've got some crafting tools. Now I wonder if anyone else has been crazy enough to do this. Let's look that up. Crafting with cat hair. Corinne. <laughs> of course. Let me remind myself how Corinne did it because she's really good at arts and crafts and I probably could learn something from her. You're gonna be a cat in the hat. What? what do you think about that? Hey, kitty! Look, you're right here! That's you! What up, Internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Witchcrafting. Today, I'm gonna pay homage to my favorite feline familiars and make them a hat out of their own fur. So cute. That's oh right. My God. I'm making a cat so hat like for my cats 
out of cat fur. Now I've done a wet felting tutorial before, so I'm gonna go back and watch my old hey, video. Hey, that's, I see you watching me and recommended. <laughs> DIY or for life. Four hours. I'm using 21 micron. What am I doing? <laughs> this is gonna take a while, but it leaves you ample time to really reflect on your life and how you got to this point of making a cat hat out of fucking cat hair. Yeah, okay. I just have to drizzle some of the water mixture onto the fur and then kind of press it in there to really work it into the fur. That turned out so good. Well done, Corinne, well done. I can't compete. <laughs> so we're not gonna make a cat hat, so we won't be compared. <laughs> we're gonna make finger puppets. Materials, cat hair, cardboard, clear tape, glue, embroidery thread or wool yarn. How about hollow ribbon? Cat brush, measuring tape, scissors, pen or pencil, dishwashing detergent, cup, wash bowl, towel, iron. Do I have an iron? I don't think I have an iron. Have I ever ironed any clothes? No. <laughs> and toothpick, which I definitely, I definitely have those for nail art. Step one, brush your cat. Done, I'm ahead of you. Cut out your finger puppet shape on cardboard. Look, I even have one of these fancy crafting mats. Professional. <laughs> do something with this long ass hair or else I might end up using my hair in these crafts. <laughs> hey, is that a thing? Do people craft with their own hair? Should be. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? Perfect. Now we'll use this cat to trace a second cat, because I have two cats, in case you didn't know, Menchin Zyler. You like my nails, by the way? I did nail art, what the hell, right? <laughs> and guess what, I made a video, but I didn't upload it to this channel. <laughs> nope, I uploaded it on my third channel, Hollow Taco. So you can check that out, I put the link down below if you wanna see how I made this hollow glitter marble nail art. Isn't that funny, like what is happening to me? I started this channel out doing regular nail art tutorials without voiceover, no crazy shit going on, and then I stopped doing that, now I'm doing this, and now I'm making plain nail art tutorials on another channel. We've come full circle. All right, we've got Xyler and Menti. Ho, ho me, ho, home. <gasps> Together they make up my home. Oh, fuck, that's so sweet. We gotta wrap these in plastic wrap. I forgot to bring that downstairs. Yeah. Man. Yes. Are you in the kitchen? For the first time, I don't mean tea. I need plastic wrap, like saran wrap. Should I ask why? Nope. Saran wrap. Perfect. Cloth thing, sponge, soap. Soap, you literally just bought the soap dispenser. Yes. <laughs> wrap your cats in plastic. What, that, that's not, don't do that. Apply clear packing tape one side at a time. So make your cat waterproof. Got it. Don't get my hair, no, my hair stuck. <laughs> All right, my hair's gonna be part of the craft now. So I'm not really sure how to handle the corners of the cat ears. I guess if I just trim closely, that should suffice. Oh, um, yeah, I guess that doesn't work. <laughs> how do they do that? Add cat hair. It's so soft. <laughs> Zyla, you're so soft. We don't want any balding patches or unevenness. Do cats go bald? Some cats are bald, I know that, like hairless cats. But do cats who normally have hair go bald? Is that a thing? It isn't, right? Man, they're so lucky. <laughs> cats are just the best, you see? They're just living life with their full coat of glorious fur. They don't have to cut it, wash it, dye it. That sounds like me. <laughs> All right, Zyler, you furry little beast. Scrub with liquid detergent. A little bit of soap. Minty, you want a bath? Hey. Let's give you a little scrub scrub. <laughs> this kind of looks like cookie dough. All right, next, rinse in hot water. Be right back. Press with an iron to dry up the moisture. Surely we can use something other than an iron. How about a blow dryer? I bought this for when I did my hair on camera once. Ready? Now I'm supposed to detach the cat hair from the cardboard piece underneath. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my 
my god, it, it's actually intact. I am shocked. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, before we decorate him, let's make the Menchi puppet. Menchi's hair looks like old lady hair. <laughs> it's like just in between gray and white when you mix it all together. <laughs> my nail through this. Oops, she has a bald patch. Oh shit. <laughs> there, it's fixed. <laughs> All right, we've got Menchi and Xyler and now it's time to decorate their faces. So let's add some cat collars first. We've got this pink hollow for Menchi and blue hollow for Xyler. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And because I'm so extra, I even got bells because my cats wear collars with little bells because I like hearing them around the house. I always like to know where they are. My cats are indoor cats, so they don't really need collars. And there was a time, maybe a year or so, where we didn't have collars on them. We just left them roam free in the home. But that was when we lived in a condo, which is much smaller than my house right now. So in my condo, I could always find them, like no matter what, all I had to do was be like, are they on this side of the room or that side? And I would find them. But now it isn't as easy to find them because we have more than one room. So I put the collars back on them so I could hear them. Just so I could feel safer knowing like, oh no, and she's downstairs, I can hear her little bell. You know, I'm like a paranoid parent. I just want to know where my kids are. <laughs> Yeah? Because you don't answer my texts, do you? Man, it's so hard to do tiny little crafts like this with long nails. <laughs> my nails just keep getting in the way of me like trying to tie this. Fun fact, the pink hollow collar that Menchi wears right now, it was actually from one of you guys. One of you sent it in to my P.O. box. It's hard to find real hollow cat collars, you know? We gotta get more of those on the market. It's perfect. Now we need some cat eyes. I don't have googly eyes, but I do have Swarovski crystals. <laughs> I gotta say, Menchi the cat, wow. Fashion icon, even as a finger puppet. Let's get your brother all dressed up. Yes, I am. Remember, I was here first. Do you have proof of that? No. <laughs> Hi. You're so normal. You can't look at them yet. They're <laughs> not just done. Saw them. <gasps> In a cat mom. Thank you, man. You got a lot of hair left over. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna need to make some hats. <laughs> so <laughs> you can start a business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out. Cat I'll crafts. be making cat hats. Sign up for first to know link down below. <laughs> Well, I think I succeeded here in making uh, the cutest cat puppets ever. <laughs> These took way less hair than I thought they would. I have so much extra cat hair left over. I think I'm gonna have to make a cat hat. And for this one, we're gonna use all the cat hairs. We've got some Xyler, some Menchi, some feline cafe cats, and of course, Rob and Corinne's cats. Someone has cat dandruff. <laughs> Is that you, big kitty? Yes, it is. And we got some Zelda right here. <laughs> oh, this is one way to like forge all your memories together. <laughs> has truly seen the world. My nails are poking through, oh god. <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do now. Yeah. Bring me the children. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Look what I made you guys. It's you. What Who's do you that? think? <laughs> Is it 
It's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it must be weird. She can like smell herself and others. And soap. She's probably selling some <laughs> smelling soap. Who's that in your bed? Wow, high fashion, truly. When you love yourself so much that you, well, wear yourself. <laughs> no cats were harmed in the making of this video. They were, though, happy during the making of this video. Actually, brushing your cats is important for their health. Even the book said so. It's important for maintaining your cat's happiness and well-being. Because cats groom naturally, sometimes they eat too much of their hair and you don't want that. So by brushing them, you help rid them of some of the excess fur so they don't accidentally eat it and swallow it. And then you end up cleaning up hairballs, <laughs> which I do do occasionally. There will be no hairballs this week, right guys? <laughs> Just don't let them eat your crafts either. Well, this was fun. Maybe I'll craft with cat hair more often. I know you guys know that in the past we've made cat merch to help raise money for animal shelters but unfortunately we didn't have the time to do that this year because we were really busy with hollow taco so instead of raising money from you guys this year for cats I'm just gonna donate my money anyways. So this year instead, I just donated my own money to the cat cafe from which we harvested some of this fur and the rescue organization that they work with. And if you're thinking of bringing a pet into your home, please consider going to your local animal shelter and adopting a rescue cat or dog. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.